This is our little Kiki. That's Kiki now, at home with her family in Ontario. But a month ago, this was Kiki, wandering the streets of Edmonton. She's always been such a great cat. You don't you don't want to lose this cat. But five years ago, while Elizabeth's family was living in Edmonton, Kiki escaped. We posted signs. We tried everything to try and get her back. We went door to door. Following an exhaustive year-long search, Elizabeth and her family moved to Ontario. But she hung on to a tiny bit of hope, knowing Kiki was microchipped. My husband was saying, you need to change your phone number to an Ontario number. I was like... I can't. What if one day, you know, what if one day I get that phone call? That one day did come. The cat that Elizabeth lost. She was coming from that area over there. Is the same one that Hannah found. I was home, so I would see her. I would actually see her come and she was eating and she would come back like three times a day for the food. Guessing a cat that hungry likely didn't have a home. Hannah called for help. Kiki was trapped and taken to the vet. Five years later, I got a call from the veterinarian saying, oh, we have Kiki. I just started sobbing. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. What a trooper. Like, she's so strong living out there for that long. Although Kiki the cat didn't come back the very next day, five years and one plane ride later, the reunion is just as sweet. She's going to have a great life now. She's going to be spoiled rotten. She doesn't seem to really be too interested in the door anymore, so I don't think she's going anywhere. Because after fending for herself, Kiki now has a new appreciation for just how good she has it. Sarah Reed, Global News.